looking at one of the best heavyweights in UFC history. The man who holds the record still for the most consecutive heavyweight title defenses, the Cleveland-based firefighter Stipe Miocic back from our team. Going into our fight at UFC 226, he was universally considered the greatest heavyweight champion of all time. And that was rightfully deserved by beating Francis Ngannou, by beating Alistair Overeem, by beating Fabricio Verdun. When you beat guys like that, those honors are cast upon you and you have deserved them. Steve A. Miocic is one of the greatest fighters the heavyweight division has ever seen. Steve A. Miocic enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Habib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. You will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbula get in there between rounds. Little guy's got a lot to say. <laughs> Championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dupe Miocic! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Herb Dean, who will handle the action inside the octagon. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for you, Paul. with the jab, so he's got the reach advantage, and he certainly made it count in that exchange. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. This is where he wants to be. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. Oh, in good position to rip off the Kimura here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, no! This could be the end of the fight. He gets out, though. Wow! Yeah, he did a great job of straightening his arm. And then when his arm straightened, he followed the momentum going in that direction to free himself from that Kimura attempt. Well, 
But at least staying busy on the bottom. Nermako Maddox right back to the full mount here. So he's got the ground and pound game going here. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Well, he grounded him and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise, the crowd responds in kind. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after they take it down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Time's next. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, buckle up. Here we go. Round Ready two. Fight. Habib Nurmagomedov Ready. versus Ready. Stipe Miocic. And there's that jab. from Miocic upstairs. That's some power there. Takedown defense holds up. Big knee there. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Throw there to no avail. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He passes to half guard. Get him out here. Good work from the top here by Nurmako Medov. Oh, another strike lands from the top. <laughs> Miocic get worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Two minutes to go in round two. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. Now we've got a good body position, yup. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he's gonna lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get... Oh, oh my God! That is Oh, boy! What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission, and he squeezed 
and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 52 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle Nurmagomedov. All right, so Habib Nurmagomedov had a lot of submissions late in his UFC.